Hi, Ron from Clarity. This video will cover the four main ways to build a multilingual website on the DNN9 Evoke platform. Clarity has been building multilingual sites on DNN for well over 10 years, and I will be showing you examples of each of the four ways and talk about the pros and cons as well. Let's get started. The first way is to install the Google Translation API. This is by far the least expensive and easiest to deploy. It can be used on sites in a number of ways. On this site, we added the API to the header, and with a simple drop-down, you can have the entire site translated into any of the languages you want. You can pick and choose which languages appear in the drop-down. For marketing, informational, and government sites, this is a great option. But for sites with technical, medical, or proprietary content that are important to your business, its translation capabilities may only be 70 to 90% accurate. Next, we'll look at serving up a specific translated user experience. This method is easy as you're just adding additional pages to your main site then translating them. Let's say you've got a doctor's office with a nurse that speaks Spanish and are in the Chicago area, like Shining Star Therapy. A simple way to help those Spanish speakers is to serve up a single contact us page that's translated that can help them contact the office. Another client can't serve up fully translated content if some of the artists supply their own text, so they offer up full hours of operation, pricing, and directions in Spanish to help. This last site provides a very visible option for Spanish, which leads to a single page that's translated concise messaging and a phone number leading to a Spanish-speaking agent. Depending on the number of pages you translate, this is a fairly good, inexpensive option that provides perfect translations depending on who you use to translate your content. The next method is to use the built-in localization capabilities of DNN, both for building out the pages for translation, as well as serving up those pages to the site visitors. This method is the most time-consuming, but gives you very granular translation capabilities within single site administration model. On this site, our client is using the DNN feature to provide very concise and exact translations of medical advice for helping patients with OCD. On my demo site, while on the home page it looks like an out-of-the-box DNN 9 installation with no language options in the header, when I navigate to a content page that I've added, you can see that all these languages pop up. And when I click on each page, it serves up a translated version of that page. The nice thing about this model is that you can define fallback languages. So Dutch could be a fallback for German and vice versa. In the admin UI, it allows you to add pages for translation for individual pages by clicking the Add Missing Languages button while editing a page, or in the Language Site settings, you can publish a copy of every page for a specific language. This time-consuming and accurate model provides a very granular, single-site platform to serve up dynamic translations. The last option is the cookie cutter method. Once the main portal and skin are built, you duplicate it for each language into child portals, then give the manager of each country admin access to their own portal to provide and manage their own translations. This can provide a number of different user experiences. For my first example, we added a simple drop-down in the header allowing users to simply switch between translated sites. Notice how the URL changes and the text can even change to the right to left languages. In this last example, our client produces medical devices and each country's equivalent of our FDA have approved a different set of products. So we built a child portal for each country so they could add and translate only the products approved in their respective countries. Then we added a country selector on the front end for a better user experience. Finally, it allowed us to have the French site, which has the most products approved, to have its own translation back to English since so many people in Europe speak English, giving our client very accurate and local translation control for each country manager. In summary, there are numerous ways to provide localized content to your users, each with their own pros and cons. Hopefully this video has introduced you to the power of DNN and its localization capabilities. Thanks for watching.